Hi, it's the Lipstick Gal. Thanks for watching today. I wanted to show you what came in my BoxyCharm for this month. I'm kind of excited. I always look forward to my BoxyCharm. It's one of those things that I really, really love. And I have been kind of excited because there's one item in here that I have just been waiting with bated breath for. All right, before we get started, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. And... Oh, it's right on top. That one product I have been dying to try is this. It's the Elemis Superfood Vital Veggie Mask. Now, the reason I've been excited for this, I've really, for a long time, I was doing nothing but sheet masks. And then I started doing wash-off masks. And then I got, I think it was in December's box, we got, um, in the December Boxy Lux, I got an Elemis, what was it, Marine Cream? Oh, it was so good. And then I used some BoxyCharm points to uh, get a toner from Elemis, which I really love. And so when I thought this was coming, I was like, you know what? I'm really kind of falling in love with this brand. This little foil thing on here, we'll take that off. And I also know something else in here that I'm gonna use for this. We did get a Luxie Guy. I don't know how to say it. It doesn't look like Gaia. Anyway, it's um, a pack of brushes. And in here is one of these guys. I thought we'd use it to put this on today. All right, so the Elemis Superfood Vital Skin Mask. Oh, look at that. <gasps> it looks beautiful. Um, it says that it has, it's a prebiotic green mask. Yes, it does feel very nice and very cool. And this actually spreads it on really nice. It says that it has a super green mask formulated with avocado broccoli seed oils, rich in omega fatty acids to support the skin's moisture barrier. Vitamin C, passion fruit acids that help brighten for a fresher complexion. Okay. All right, so this mask here, I'll find the cap for it before I get more of it everywhere. Um, actually retails for $35. And in this Luxie brush trio here, it has a couple of other brushes. Where did I leave them? Oh, look, they're right here. Let's talk about these. Um, so there is the 510 foundation brush. There is this 426 pre precision crease, I could talk. And the 250 large eye blending brush. The other thing that I noticed is, of course, they have the Luxie handles that are pink, but these look like they're wood. Are all the rest of the, here's another Lexi brush. Ooh, I don't know if this is wood covered in some sort of, I don't know, maybe some sort of really heavy coating, like a varnish of some sort, or maybe it's plastic. I don't know, but there is a real difference. This, this is the normal Lexi brush, and this is definitely much more, do you hear that? That is my cat. She is going bonkers. <laughs> All right, so this is much more highly polished. This is much more natural looking. And I think it really goes with the theme for this month, the au naturel. We're just gonna leave all the little galloping kitten paws in the background to my kitten. It's not really a kitten anymore. She's just about a year old, but oh, she's still a handful. So we'll leave this on, we'll wash it off, and we'll talk about what it feels like in a minute. I can't stop doing this. I just got back from washing my face after taking off this Elemis Superfood veggie mask and my skin, I did put a little bit of moisturizer on because if I don't put it on when my skin is still damp, I feel like it doesn't absorb as well. But my skin felt really, really refreshed and very soft. I really like that. The other thing I will tell you is I did have kind of this feeling of a, um, a very cooling sensation on the face after having washed it off. And I don't know if there's anything in here like eucalyptus or peppermint, I don't know. But it did really, uh, for the first few minutes after, it did leave kind of like that slightly tingly feel on my face. I really like this mask. And uh, I like the way that it leaves my skin feeling kind of clean but not dry or stripped. And still kind of bouncy and plump. So I really like it. I'm gonna be excited to use it. I'll make sure and continue to use it up. Uh, out of all of the masks that I've received from BoxyCharm, this one is probably my favorite so far. It's time to put on the eyeshadow palette that came this month. This is from Butter London. And does it say on the back? 
but this is called the Natural Goddess Eyeshadow. Oh, it says it on the inside. Natural Goddess. Right here. Boop. So this is what it looks like. You know what's interesting about this is that I feel like these colors here go really well together, even these colors here. And then you add on this kind of blue and it's kind of like, what? I don't know. Part of me wants to try that blue just to see if I can make it work. And the other part of me is like, do I really want to wear this for the rest of the day? But we're going to see. So aside from this Lexi brush, we did get two others in that trio, that kind of natural handled wooden handle pink Lexi brush trio. And that actually goes for $30. Um, and this Butter London Natural Goddess eyeshadow palette is has a value of $32. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit worried because the only mattes in here is this dark brown and then this really interesting kind of tealy blue called Femme Fatale. I'm going to do something I normally don't do. I'm going to take this really large brush and I'm going to go into this shade here and I'm going to put that all over, not just the lid, but like all the way. I'm going to pull a Charlotte Tilbury. She gives shades like this in her palettes and she says to prime the eye with these. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna use it all over the lid, all the way up to the brow bone. I right know, horror, right? <laughs> There's shimmer in the crease. Oh, I don't know what to put on next. I think I'm just gonna skip the blue. I know, I know, I know. I should probably wear it, but uh, it just feels like it doesn't work. I'm gonna use a smaller brush here and I'm gonna go for this uh, dark brown. This one's called Temptress. I'm going to see if I can kind of work that in specific areas to make this just a little darker. Maybe lay it down with this and blend it with the other brush. Because this says it's a precision crease, but mm -hmm. feels more like a little itty bitty teeny tiny paddle brush to maybe pack color on with. Let's see if we can get it to work in our crease. I do really like this large fluffy brush here. This one is called the Large Eye Blending. And I feel like it's really good for just kind of fluffing stuff around. I'm gonna grab this shade right here, this olive green called Star, and see if I can get that to show up on my lid. I just switch brushes because I, I don't know that out of the three they sent, there's one that I would really feel comfortable using it does have a lot of fallout. I don't know if you can see it like right around in here. And maybe I'm picking up a lot on this brush here, trying to get more color. And I do have little bits falling off down below. But again, let's just wipe it away. I feel like I need a little bit more of that dark brown shade called Temptress. Um, I'm just going to pick it up on this and see if I can kind of make this outer corner here just a little, oh, that was quite a bit darker. <laughs> so just a little bit, yep. It's like yes and a little bit more. I'm gonna go back into this really beautiful champagne shade here called Enchantress and put some of that like really solidly in my inner corner. I had a little bit before, but like really focus it in there. I'm gonna use this shade Queen. It's kind of like a, a light pinky color on my lower lash line. I think that's all I'm going to do for the eyes. Next, I'm going to put on this. This is from Appeal. This is their gel liner, and the shade is Deep Taupe. I don't know how they're calling like a chocolatey brown a deep taupe. That's okay. Well, we'll see. Let's put it in our upper water line. I'm also going to use this on my uh, upper lash line. So I'm gonna curl my lashes and put on some mascara and some eyebrows, and then we'll be back to put on the lipstick. The last thing in the box is this Ofra lip, liquid lipstick, and this is in the shade Santorini. This is actually valued at $20. I forgot to tell you that the Appeal eyeliner is valued at 21. So let's put some of this on. It has almost a hint of like a metallic-y, almost blue shade to it. I know that sounds kind of weird. It looks just like a hot pink, but it has almost like a shift of blue. So this is the finished look. 
you know, I, I am surprised at how much I like the eye look I was able to get out of this eyeshadow palette. I think it's really pretty, but I really want to try and find a way to use this teal shade here because it's not something that I naturally look at. Maybe I just need to use these shades here or maybe these shades here and build a look all around this blue. I don't know. Mm. And it's the person in me who is really comfortable with neutral shades, you know, very earthy tones. It was like, sure, olive green, yeah, no problem. Uh, let's put a little brown in there, a little champagne. This was a really easy look to do. They blended really well. I did feel like maybe um, there was a lot of fallout, a lot more than I expected to have. So I don't know if these are my top choice for an eyeshadow palette I'd want to like go to all the time, but I did get a really pretty look. And I do really like this green shade here. I did really feel like I needed to really pack it on. But if we're looking at the rest of them, they are, they are pretty shades. I don't know, maybe let's do some swatches here. These are the shades in the eyeshadow palette, the six shades, and, and they're not in the same layout as here. I was just like, putting my fingers in the pans and swiping them. So they're they're definitely not in the same layout as you would see them in the pans. This is the lightest shade. And then we have kind of a more golden one here, a more pink leaning metallic, and this uh, kind of olivey green here. I think it's a really, and, and you know, this right here makes sense to me, which is why that's what I use on my eye. That makes sense to me, but the green and the blue together, maybe I'm just not bold enough to try them yet. I do really think that um, I can get some use out of this palette. I don't know that it's going to be my absolute favorite palette. The, the fallout that I got from some of these shades made me kind of go, oh, I hate it when that happens. But I'm going to try it with different brushes and see if I can uh, do a little bit better. And I, I think overall, I think I like it, and I do really think that I can get some good use out of it. All right, uh, from there, I was surprised this bright shade Santorini came in a box called El Natural, because <laughs> this is not one of those natural shades. I was expecting more of a nude, but it is a really pretty shade. I think out of all the liquid lipstick formulas I have, <sighs> Ofra is a little bit more comfortable, but it's still not my favorite formula. I don't know that I'm gonna get a ton of use out of this, but it's just because I don't prefer liquid lipsticks. I love the way that this one smells. I think that Ofra lipsticks, they smell really good. It smells like kind of, kind of like baked goods, like vanilla-y, sugary, cake battery goodness. Um, and I, I do like the way that it smells, and I feel like it's a really nice, thin formula. I did feel like this, I needed to put like almost three coats on because parts of it were just a hair streaky and to make sure that I was able to cover my entire lips I had to go over it multiple times but I feel like it builds well it's comfortable right now I don't know what it's going to feel like in about four or five hours but it is a liquid lipstick so it's gonna, probably going to be very long wearing and it's going to hang with you throughout the day this appeal eyeliner I felt like it was really easy to apply once I got past I don't know if you have ever noticed this when you like open a lip liner or an eyeliner or anything for the first time and then try and apply it I feel kind of like maybe that portion of the product that has been exposed to the air even while it's capped inside of its own you know packaging it's a little bit dry and once you draw that first line and you get past that kind of I don't know, it almost seems like a waxy coat. Then you get to the creamy part of it, and this liner is really, really quite creamy. I used it in my upper waterline. I used it on my upper lash line, and I think it looks okay. The one thing I'll tell you is, just from applying it in my upper waterline and blinking, I already have transferred to my lower waterline, which is not where I wanted it, but almost every liner I have does that. But I feel like it goes on really easy in the waterline. It's fairly comfortable. I have others that go on a little bit easier, but it's not bad. I don't know that I would pay $21 for this. I think if I'm gonna pay $21, I want one that is uh, like retractable, one that I don't have to sharpen. And I already have pulled out my little pencil sharpener here and I have already sharpened it. But it sharpens nicely, I don't have any problems. Um, I am absolutely in love with this. I think this is a beautiful product. I love, and I'm so glad that I got introduced to Elemis skincare through BoxyCharm. I've tried, I think this is my third Elemis product. 
maybe more. I don't remember, but I really, really like this. Um, I know I'm not going to get use out of this other than in applying face masks, so that's how I'm going to use it. I'm not going to use it for actually makeup application, but it will be nice to have a hair. I've already washed it. It washes nicely. And these two guys here, I think this is the one that I'm going to get the most use out of, and I think I'll probably just keep it clean and use it just for kind of fluffing out the edges and blending things. It worked really well for that. This guy here I might use for a lower lash line, inner corner. I don't know. It says it's precision crease. I had a hard time using it in my crease because it's a little stiff. That's just me. But I, I think overall it's it was a pretty good box. It's not my favorite that we've had recently. I think that we've been having some really good ones, but I definitely am going to be able to get use out of most of the things in here. The total value of this box is $138. And I think that, you know, for the fact that I only paid $21 for this box, that's a lot of added value to it. And I think even if I just love one thing out of here, like love it to death, it's totally worth it because this is a retail value of 35. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Uh, let me know if you received BoxyCharm, if you had a product that really stood out as like your home run for this month. If you've got a different variation than I did, let me know what you received in your box in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.